This is Carolina AM. Welcome back to Carolina AM. Making afternoon snacks or an appetizer for entertaining doesn't have to be time consuming. Jamie Saunders of Johnny D's is here with us to show us how to make cucumber salsa. So this is a pretty simple recipe, right? Very Jamie? simple. I mean, here you see we have basic ingredients. Most of the stuff you'd have in your house, just you know, just the fresh herbs might be something you have to go and be like, oh, let me go pick them up at the store. But I okay. mean, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers. Okay, I have everything. so let's start. We're basic cucumbers. We yep. need to make sure we peel them because we don't want that bitter no, taste. No, we right? don't want that. And then um, I, I cut them, you know, probably like three eighths of an inch. You know, okay. it doesn't have to be perfect, but as best as you can get it. So they're all about the same size. Okay. And then we're going to put yellow and red peppers. I cut them up just a little bit smaller than I cut up the cucumbers. Okay. We have our tomatoes here. All right, those look delicious now. And if you want something that's not quite as chunky, you can always make these smaller pieces. Yes, of right. course, absolutely. I like to have everything a little chunky because I like to be able to taste yeah. it and uh, not have a problem with that. So we um, here okay. I have the jalapenos. As you can see, I chopped them up a lot smaller right. than I usually um, than everything else because you don't want to take a big chunk of jalapeno into your mouth. Unless and, he, and here's the thing: you can adjust this. So if you're yes. like me and you're wimpy and you don't like the hot, yeah. spicy stuff, you don't have to put as many jalapenos. In. Yes, that's exactly right because I like it a little spicy. Sometimes I, you know, I bite off more than I can chew, but yeah. you know, I just. You know, whatever. Now, I do is, love so. onions, though, so you can put some extra yeah. onions in here as well, right? These are actually shallots, and I actually enjoy them more than okay. regular, like, red onion or everything. I feel like they have a little bit of a sweeter flavor. So, um, the last thing I'm going to do here, I put a little bit of garlic salt. Oh, garlic salt, my favorite. So, you want to be able to... So, you to don't want to uh, kiss anyone after this, no, right, probably Jamie? This not. Be, <laughs> this is going to be a little too spicy. This is probably not a great first date food. No, no, I don't think okay. so. I got a little fresh um, basil and fresh dill in there. And here I, I grilled up some pita bread here. Those look amazing. Greg has my uh, salsa that I had already made here. So here you can um, oh, enjoy a little okay, bit here. Oh, you, Greg. He gets to do all the hard yeah, work over there. Put a little, a little sugar because we want to add a little sweetness. Okay, so that's interesting too. You can add some sugar. So if you like a little more of the sweet, you can add that. And yes. now salt, you just do a pinch to taste, right? Yeah. What um, I'm going to do that last because um, I like to get all my ingredients mixed in and then, okay. um, you know, so that way I have a, I can tell how much salt. Now, what does this lemon do, Jamie, it, to it? It just adds a little bit of acidity. I like to have a little bit of sweetness in all my dishes and a little bit of acidity. So uh, the lemon just gives it, if you, if you make it without lemon and you put a little bit, it's just like that little fresh burst. And okay. that's why you put the fresh herbs in there too, the dill and the basil, because it just adds a little bit of freshness to the dish. And that's what you want, especially it looks when amazing. you're eating something with all fresh vegetables in it. Well, and what's great too, is if you're very health conscious, this is the perfect meal for oh, you. Oh yeah. All right, well, I think Greg is going to try it over there. And for, for the full recipe and list of ingredients, you can head over to our website, WFXB. Mm -hmm. When we get back, find out why chiropractic care is just as important for your feet as it is for your back. But first, these messages. <laughs>